Hi, my name is Janusz. I'm co-founder and CEO of Atriba, and I want to talk about Atriba's attribution modeling algorithm. For an overview, Atriba consists of three parts. First part is the holistic user journey tracking, where we track all user journeys, meaning converting, but also importantly, all the non-converting ones. We include display banner ad views and on-site events such as uh, product detail view or add to basket event. And all that user data is then being processed in our AI-based attribution modeling, where we calculate the performance and efficiency of every campaign and every marketing touchpoint. The result of this are insights and optimization suggestions that we display in our dashboard for our advertisers to optimize their marketing return on ad spend. The attribution modeling basically consists of two steps. First step is developing a conversion model, which is a predictive model. And that model can take a user and its marketing touch points as an input and calculate a conversion probability. The marketing touch points could, for example, be, as we've just seen, display banner ad views. It could be a regular paid search click. It could be information on whether a user visited the um, advertiser's website after a TV spot or, as i just shown, add to basket events. It could also be macro-level data. So, for example, whether an out-of-home campaign ran or catalogs have been sent out during the customer's journey. And also information about the user can be integrated, such as information about the geolocation or whether the user has purchased a product before. And all that information, as I've said, can be entered or inputted into that model and a conversion probability will be the output. The way we develop this conversion model is that we take 70% of all the historic user journeys, converting and non-converting ones, and calculate and develop that model, and then apply that model to the 30% remaining user journeys, again, converting and non-converting ones, and calculate for these 30% users whether we have predicted with a high quality, meaning that we expect that if that model is accurate, that it calculates a high conversion probability for the ones that we know that have converted because it's historic user journey data, and a low conversion probability for the ones that have not converted. And on that basis, we can calculate a model quality metric called AUC, Area Under the Curve, which is pretty standard in machine learning and allows us to objectively measure the quality of the model that we have developed. And once that AUC metric is over a certain threshold, we can then use that model for doing the attribution. Usually it takes about two to six weeks until we have a model of high enough quality to use it for the attribution. The attribution basically consists of applying that conversion model to all the customer journeys that we want to attribute. So for example, all the conversions that have happened yesterday should be attributed in a smarter way than just applying last click, first click, or any kind of other static model to it. So what we do is we take a particular customer's journey and calculate the conversion probability at every step of that particular customer's journey. So for example, the first information that we have at the start of this customer's journey is that it's a repeat buyer. We can enter that information into our model. The conversion probability that the model outputs is 5%. So our baseline is 5%. So even without having any information about coming marketing contacts, we know that the conversion probability, just on the basis that it's a repeat buyer, is 5%. The second contact is a display banner ad view. We enter that information plus the information that it's a repeat buyer into that model, and the new conversion probability is 45%. So the uplift is 40% from the previous 5% to now 45% and these 40% uplift will be assigned to display ad or attributed to the display ad channel. Then the second click, paid search, we enter all that information that we have uh, up until this step, the information about this being a repeat buyer, the display ad view and that there's a paid search click into that model and calculate a new conversion probability of 65% which is 20 percentage points higher than the previous conversion probability so these 20 percentage points will be attributed to paid search. Then the next user journey event is happening. We add that to all the previous customer journey steps and enter that into our model. 
And the new conversion probability is 90% now, which is 25 percentage points higher than the previous 65% conversion probability. So 25 percentage points will be attributed to the event at two basket. And then the final step is a retargeting banner click, because for example, the retargeting pixel has been fired on the add to basket event. And now the model calculates on the basis of all the information that is available up until the retargeting click the conversion probability of 100%, which is 10 percentage points higher than the previous 90%, and that will be attributed to retargeting. And what you see here is how important it is to include information about the on-site events, because if we would have left out the add-to-basket event, the increase from 65% to 100% would have been attributed wrongly to retargeting. So retargeting would have been overvalued if we wouldn't have included the information about the on-site event. So for an overview, what we've done is we first developed a conversion model, which is happening every night for every one of our clients, where we integrate all the information that's important to do a causal attribution modeling. And then we apply this model that we've trained here in the first step to every step of the customer journeys that are supposed to be re-attributed. We can also include information about offline campaigns and TV ads. So if we know, for example, that during this particular customer journey there was an out-of-home campaign, we can include that information, for example, in the second step here, and have our model calculate a conversion probability on the basis of that information. So the conversion probability with the information that it's a repeat buyer and that there was an out-of-home campaign in that or during that particular customer journey, the conversion probability is 25% according to our model. So that's 20 percentage points higher than the baseline of 5%. So out-of-home campaign will be attributed with 20 percentage points conversion increment. And we can also include information about the TV ad view. For example, if we know that a certain TV spot has increased the number of visitors to an advertised website significantly, and this particular customer has come to the advertised website after this particular TV spot that has increased the number of visitors significantly, we can add that information similar to the other marketing touch points into our customer journey analysis and calculate a conversion probability based on our conversion model, which is now, in this case here, 60%, which is 35 percentage points higher than the previous conversion probability. So 35 percentage points will then be attributed to TV or this particular TV ad. In this way, we can easily integrate information about out of home campaigns, for example, and other offline marketing campaigns and TV ad campaigns, which we integrate in the customer journey analysis. Thanks for your attention. I hope this helped you understand the attribution modeling algorithm.